Hi friends! So today I have a super oddly satisfying cleaning video where I tried stripping. Now stripping my laundry that is and not dancing. I know where your mind went there for a second. Uh, stripping my laundry and so when I first saw this I knew nothing about this. I had never heard about it before so I went on to my good friend Google. Now I first heard about stripping laundry from one of my favorite cleaning Instagram accounts called Go Clean Co. And I had never heard about this before. Um, she said it's really popular on TikTok now. Listen girl, I, I don't even know how to use TikTok so I didn't know anything about it. But she, she has the instructions here on her Instagram highlight feed about how to strip your clothes and, or any of your, your towels, your sheets, whatever. So she did it with her workout clothes and the amount of dirt that was in the bathtub was just gross. And I was like, that can't be. You know, she said that the workout clothes were clean and I just, I was like, wow, I just, that can't be, right? So then I went, you know, cause I really wanted to know well, where did this come from? Did somebody just make this up? I mean, what is it? Um, but here it is like how to strip laundry when you Google it, laundry stripping, does it work? You know, I trust good housekeeping, you know, not everybody knows what they're talking about when it comes to cleaning. So I always like to go to the professionals, but yeah, they have it here. Laundry stripping isn't new by any means. Many people, including Good Housekeeping Institute's cleaning lab, have used this soaking method for years to remove detergent, residue, fabric softener, minerals from hard water, and body oils from textiles. Wow. So see, the thing is, it's like those body oils, like you're gonna see in the footage, y'all, I did not realize how like gross this was <laughs> when I was doing it. Cause I used our, I did our towels and you know, I replace our towels every three days, every three to four days, we get new towels and washcloths. And you know, we use a lot of, like I personally use a lot of body oils and body scrubs and I use body scrubs on my girls and I use body washes and all different types of soaps and stuff. You know, you just don't realize that even though you're running these things in your washing machine, how dirty they still are even after washing them. Just from residue from the fabric softener and the laundry detergent. And I personally live in an area that has very, very hard water. And so that, you know, even I see the hard water stains and my dishes sometimes from the dishwasher. So. It was incredible. So here is the original TikTok that went viral. Now here she's just stripping her laundry. That's what she used. And that's what I ended up using for, I didn't use, you'll see in the video um, that I, at first I thought it was regular baking soda, but no, it's super, super wash baking soda. I had borax already on hand. It's This is what I got from Walmart. If you haven't seen my Walmart haul, you can tap the I in the upper right hand corner. So she's doing her towels here. Dude, look at how dirty that is. Oh my gosh. That's how my towels ended up looking at first. I was like, well, is it just like, is the water cloudy and that's what it is? But no girl, it was pure dirt. Well, I don't know if it's dirt, but just like oils from your body and stuff. I don't know, but yeah, this is what ended up. This is what went viral really on the internet and now everybody wants to try it, including myself. So yeah, let's get into this video. Tell, leave a comment down below and tell me if you're gonna try it, if you have try it, tried it before in the past and what did you think? Did you have the same sort of results? Leave a comment down below and let me know. So let's get into it. Okay y'all, so these are the towels that I'm going to strip today. These are dirty towels. These are the towels we've been using for the past several days. I read an article online that said, you should change your towel and washcloth every three days. After that, you are literally wiping molds and mildew on your body. So I try to do it every three days. Sometimes we go four days, but we used to go every week. So these are the towels that I'm going to wash and try stripping because these are the ones that we use the most. And so I'm gonna throw them in the wash now. All right, so the uh, towels are done washing. I'm not gonna put them in the dryer because I feel like that's kind of silly because I'm just gonna wet them again. So I have hot water, I just have my hot water on, that's all. I'm gonna let this fill up a bit. I got my borax and my baking powder and I'll bring in a cup of Tide. And then I'm gonna put the towels in. This is another set that I had that I just washed that we use often. These are right out of the washing machine. You have to put enough water in here to cover them. As hot as the water gets. All right. 
So, it's really, really hot, y'all. Now I'm gonna add in, I have my quarter cup measuring cup, because that's what the instructions say, to use a quarter cup of baking powder, a quarter cup of borax, and then a generous amount of Tide, which to me this is a generous amount. <laughs> so, I think that's enough, because this is all covered now. I have to be able to mix it up, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, add my Tide. This is so satisfying. <laughs> I got my baking powder here. Y'all, yeah, I'm so excited about this. I cannot wait to see how this is going to turn out. Come on. Ooh. A little extra borax never hurt nobody. Some borax. Now, I'm going to mix this all around. I wish I had like a big stick to mix this, but I don't, because <laughs> it's hot. So I'm just gonna do, just like this, y'all. Make sure that the stuff, this is my first time doing this, y'all. So we're just doing this together. For the first time, I wanna see if it really works. You're supposed to come in here and mix it every hour. Oh my gosh, it's already getting dirty. It's already getting dirty. That. Unless that's just the color reflecting off the water, this is crazy. All right, so I'm gonna come back in an hour and mix it again, see what it's like, because you've gotta sit this in here for five hours. Okay, this is after about 30 minutes. That is definitely dirt. <laughs> that's dirt. It's very, very cloudy, very cloudy. Wow. I can't imagine how it's gonna look after the five hours, but okay, I'll come back in an hour and show you guys that update. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. I'm going to mix this all around again. You can clearly see that the water is so cloudy. My goodness, the water isn't as hot, it's just warm. So we're going to keep letting it do its thing. All right, it's been about three hours. The water is incredibly murky, incredibly murky, but so you can see that was caught in our towels okay so i will definitely keep you guys posted okay it's been four hours oh, look how dirty this water is oh my goodness y'all the water is it's not cold it's um i don't know in between lukewarm and cool maybe room temperature would be better i'm just mixing this around this dirt look at all that dirt so cloudy, right? So we have one more hour. Then I'll have to put these in a, I think she said a rinse cycle, I think. I'm not sure. And then they will be really clean. All right, y'all, it's been five and a half hours. I actually have a call to hop on right now, so you can clearly see how dirty this is. It's filthy, it's been five and a half hours. I'm gonna let this sit, I don't wanna take it out yet because I have to call the hop on but when I get done with the call I'm gonna have to throw it in the washing machine machine probably on a quick cycle with some laundry tied and we'll see how they turn out all right y'all <laughs> it's like 10 o'clock at night but I'm just now like finishing up with my meetings and what I had to do today so I'm going to go ahead and let the water out of this disgusting tub at this point put these on a quick wash cycle in my washing machine put a little bit of powder tied in the in the bin the washing tub and dry these and then I'll show you in the morning how they turn out. So the towels feel like slimy. I think it's because of the powdered Tide. To be honest, y'all, I don't even know if this is really doing anything. All I know is looking at this water, it's pretty gross because these were clean towels. They were cleaned in my washing machine. So I, I'm just not, I don't know if it's because of the Tide. I know Tide has that kind of like it's like a film on my hands that I feel um, after I put my hands um, in Tide, and water that has Tide in it. I'm new to using powdered Tide though, girl. So I don't know, you know, I don't know. I have you know, I, I started using powdered Tide because of Gold Clean Co, that's why I bought it. You know, I always use the liquid, but now I'm thinking about how the heck am I gonna get this to my washing machine, girl, without dripping water everywhere? How are we gonna do it? That is the question here. Ugh. 
the next day. All right, y'all, I'm back at it. This time I have the right stuff. When I went to Walmart today, they had this, and this is exactly what Go Clean Co's Instagram page use this super washing soda. I had never heard of it before, girl. Um, apparently it's been since 1874, but it's all good, okay? So I'm gonna use this instead of the regular baking soda because I just misread that. So this time I'm gonna do my sheets. I just took the sheets off my bed. I washed them already. And now I'm gonna put them in here and another set of sheets that I have and let these soak for five hours. All right, so here's the towels. I'm smelling them. They smell good. I smell Tincha Tide in there because I use Tide in the washing tub. They don't feel any different though. I mean, is it supposed to feel different? I don't know. I mean, my girls, washcloths, like I said, they, they smell clean. I know they're clean, you know, so I'm, I'm interested to see how the sheets are going to come out with me using the washing soda instead of just rather regular baking soda. See if that makes a difference. I mean, I did see the dirt. You saw the dirt in the tub. Was it really dirt or was it just the, the water was cloudy from the stuff that I put in the water? I'm starting to like question myself because it's been several days now. So I'm going to really look this time and put my sheets in and see if it makes a difference. <sighs> this is going to take a while to fill up. I can tell it's going to take a while. I uh, have king size sheets too, by the way, and our pillowcases. All right, the water is super hot. I couldn't, I can't even touch it and put my hand in there. I'm using my kid's Barbie boat to stick, the, to push the uh, sheets and stuff down. So now I'm gonna get ready to, to put my mixture in. It is a quarter cup of the super washing soda, quarter cup of borax, and then a hefty scoop of Tide with the detergent. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and get ready to mix it all together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in. That was the laundry booster. Now let me do the borax. I did the quarter cup of borax, the quarter cup of super washing soda, and now this much Tide. And then I'm gonna mix it around really well because it's like, there's a lot of water in here, but like the sheets float to the top. <laughs> So I'm just gonna keep mixing with my little Barbie boat. Okay, I'm gonna let it do its magic. It's 12.49. I'll let these soak until, what, six o'clock today? And we'll see how dirty our sheets were. And these were clean sheets. The one set I had just washed, I pulled out of the washing machine, and another set I had were washed and put away in the laundry room, so we will see. Here's how it's looking, it's three o'clock now. It's been about three hours. You're supposed to mix it around every, it's just so hard to mix. It's just, maybe I'm doing too much of it. Now, this dirt, this water is visibly dirty. <laughs> yeah, this is, this water is dirty. So let me mix it around. I guess it's hard to mix around. The sheets are so heavy. I'm using my Barbie boat here. Oh, oh my gosh, did I break my kid's Barbie boat? I hope I can fix it back. False alarm, it's fixed. Still soaking, the water's still warm. Actually, it's, it's pretty dirty, y'all. Yeah, this is pretty gross. <laughs> I don't even want to put my hands in there. It's pretty gross. Much, much, much later. Babe, I need you to help me. I totally forgot about something. Can you come here and look? Come look, babe, come on. Come on, babe. I totally forgot that. <laughs> what is that? Honey, I'm stripping our sheets. What? This, it's called stripping your laundry. And basically, these were clean stripping sheets. For what? Yeah, from the dirt. You and washed it. I know, but still, the laundry detergent gets stuck Why in there, you your body that? oils. Because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to soak it in hot water. But I forgot. It's super late now, y'all. It's like past nine o'clock. And I forgot. We were having oh, family man. night. It's been in here for about nine hours. You're supposed to do like five or six hours. <laughs> <laughs> but look at how dirty the water is. I'll These were clean sheets. I'll sleep on the sofa. You'll sleep on the sofa. I'm not, I'm not, babe, I know, but I'm not, not playing that. around. Just help me. I'm going to take the water out and then I'm going to put it in the washing machine. I Again? have to walk like a quick wash. It. Oh my gosh, babe. Yes, I already washed it, but then after it's clean. You washed it, you let it sit for nine hours, and then you want to wash it again? Yes, that's what you're supposed Babe, I'm going to educate you, okay? I'll send you a couple links about it. Okay, so I have to let the water out, and we're going to put it on a quick cycle wash and pray. I mean, I don't know. The water looks pretty dirty to me. Um, look at how dirty. No, it was like piping hot, as hot as I can get it. Um, when I first put the water in, so I'm gonna let this water out and then I'm gonna put it 
in the washing machine. I mean, I don't, I honestly don't know if this is necessary. I don't think it's necessary to have clean sheets, you know what I mean? But it's good to do this like once a year from the research that I've been doing. Like once a year or every so often with gym clothes and stuff like that. No, I would never do this every time I wash. Babe, what kind of sense does that make? I'm just saying that. Come on. <laughs> I didn't come up with this. I did not make this up. All right, and now I'm gonna have to keep moving this out of the way because it keeps clogging the drain. This is not fun. There's nothing fun about this. The most satisfying part is looking at the dirt that came off your sheets, the dead skin, skin cells and everything else. But this part, girl, is rough. All right, y'all, so here are the sheets. They smell so good. They smell like Tide. They're really clean. I will say that. Let me fold them up and then we'll, we'll chat. All right, y'all. So these are all folded. These are really clean. They feel, I don't know. You know how you could tell with your sheets? I don't know how to explain it, but not soiled, but like you were sweating in them or I don't know. Like you feel like even putting them through the wash, they didn't get like all the way, all the way clean. I don't know. It could just be me, but I, maybe it's just mental, but they feel super clean. Like super clean like there's no residue at all because sometimes when you wash you still have like a residue on your clothes or whatever or your sheets there is no residue whatsoever and by the way i love these sheets i get these from costco these are hands down the best sheets i've ever bought i've bought these years ago they don't beat up it doesn't matter how many times you wash them and i've bought a couple of very expensive sets um, of sheets before uh, particularly from Macy's that have beat it up and it's just after you wash them a couple times it's just they're horrible but these hands down are the best I have the tag here um, it's just the Kirkland brand and they go on sale 540 thread count sateen sheet set love 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 these so they go on sale like the king size I think like for 75 bucks even cheaper than that I think they I think they're regularly 75 and then they can go on sale for like 59 or in the 50s and they are totally worth it and I think they have king and queen sizes all right guys that is it leave a comment down below and let me know what did you think right I promise you all of the things that I laundry stripped came straight out of the washing machine so I just thought that that was wild especially the towels looking back at the footage at first I didn't know I couldn't tell if it was really dirt or if it was just cloudy from all the stuff that you put in the water but yeah it was dirt same with the um sheets the, t the sheets and wasn't as dirty as the towels but like honestly I want to know how often are you supposed to do this you know I feel like well maybe I should do this way more often than I thought or is it every couple of months is it every six months is it once a year how often are you supposed to do it so those that are you know know way more about this than I do leave a comment down below and let me know thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture on the screen and you can also check out my previous video right next to it and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye